Matthew Sherrington. I successfully removed the tendon from the muscle of the leg of the cat and connected it to the myograph as you requested. I think we're ready to go. Excellent. Okay, so the real experiment probably didn't go down exactly like that, but it was close enough. So this is the real Dr. Sherrington, and he was actually wondering what happens to a muscle when it is stretched. So what he did was, he um, um, sectioned um, the spinal cord at the level of the medulla oblongata. This way he isolated the spinal cord from the, from the brain. So this is now referred to as a spinal animal where all the responses happening in the lower body of the cat is independent of the brain. After that, Sherrington placed the cat on a table and he fixed it well. Then he detached the lower tendon of the quadriceps muscle and fixed that onto a, onto a myograph, which is a device which measures the muscular tension and the muscular activity or the contraction in the muscle. Then he lowered the table downwards, which would do what? Which would stretch this muscle. So in the results we see here at the bottom the stretching of the muscle. Uh, we're lowering the table so we have a stretch by about 0.8 centimeters and this was translated into a rise, a significant increase in the tension within the muscle. The increase was quite rapid within the first second almost. Then it sort of attenuated a bit. It uh, lowered or decreased slightly because of the um, adaptation that the um, sensory receptor um, experiences. But what we're seeing here is something very peculiar, very interesting, that stretching or increasing the muscle length actually induces its contraction. So if I were here to grab the muscle from its tendon and pull it downward, okay, what happens? So the muscle length has increased. The muscle now responds by contracting and trying to pull itself closer to, it, to its, uh, pull its edges closer to each other, to shorten itself. So this is actually a reflex, an involuntary response. And it is not controlled by the encephalon, because remember the animal, the cat on which um, Sherrington was performing the experiment, had its spinal cord isolated from the brain by an incision, by a cut. So it is in fact controlled by the spinal cord. This is referred to as the myotatic reflex. Myo means muscle or the stretch reflex. So when the muscle is stretched, it responds by contracting. It mainly helps in maintaining posture and balance. Um, so when you're leaning to one side or the other or forward or backwards, this reflex helps to maintain your body in a straight position, keeps you balanced. Michael Jackson and the leaning pizza tower make a very good demonstration here. But I think I'll uh, demonstrate it myself. Let's pretend that this balloon represents the muscle. A muscle located on my left side. If I were to lean, let's say, to the right, notice what's happening to the muscle. It's being stretched, lengthened. Now, the response in this case, based on the myotatic reflex, is that, is that it should try to contract, try to pull me up to the opposite side. In this way, it will help maintain my posture. Same thing happens in the legs. If you stand up with me right now and try to lean, let's say, to the left side. Lean until you feel the muscles on the right side, they're contracting. So what's happening here? When you lean to the left, the muscles on the right here, they are being stretched in the opposite direction. So they respond by contracting. So in this way, the myotatic reflex maintains your balance. Now finally recall that every reflex has the following components. It starts with a stimulus which launches the response, which is in turn detected by a sensory receptor that sends messages through sensory neurons to the CNS, the nerve center, which in turn sends orders out by the motor neurons to the effectors that give the response. So in this case, for example, the stimulus is the heat in the candle, the sensory receptor is the thermal receptor in the skin, then messages are sent via sensory or afferent neurons to the spinal cord, which is the spinal, the nerve center in this case, where integration happens, and orders are sent through motor neurons to the um, muscles, the effectors in this case. So now I want you to test yourselves and think for the myotatic reflex of what is the stimulus, what is the sensory receptor, what is the nerve center concerned, the effector, and what is the actual response. What's that?
Oh no, it's Joanne Wick. You've killed my dog. But this is a cat. Whatever.